My name is Trish Steiger. And I'm Katherine Gabe, and we're with the Wayne County Impact Group in Wayne County, Ohio. Our problem of practice is that 27% of 8th graders and 45% of 10th graders report annual alcohol use rates. Both those rates are higher than the national average. Our future work will be improved um, with our needs assessment process because we have really worked to engage our coalition members in the actual work that they've done. Now our coalition members have experience in things like focus groups and key interviews and they know how to do it. Therefore, when other community problems arise, they will be able to transfer their knowledge into those new problems. And so our capacity has um, really been strengthened by these activities. The part that was most beneficial and helpful to us was engaging other coalition members and making sure that they were deeply involved in the process. With regards to this process, what we'll take away is um, learning how to do new techniques like focus groups and the assessment process involving all parts of it, quantitative data and qualitative data. Also, don't be afraid to try it. Get out there and do it. You might make mistakes, but you're gonna learn from it, and the next time it's only gonna be better. This part of the needs assessment process took us out of our comfort zone because we had to do all these new things. We, we had done some survey data before, quantitative, but it was jumping into the deep end of the pool with learning about qualitative data. And that was a big, big change for us. And so we were nervous about doing the focus groups. Well, the templates and the protocols were really helpful for us to be able to rely on. And we had weekly support and information from our coaches and they were really supportive to us, which was helpful and beneficial. Now that we're experts in this process, we'd like to give a little advice. I think of looking at this, at this as a puzzle, and there's different pieces of the puzzle. We need quantitative data, qualitative data, and archival data. And if you don't have those pieces, when you look at the whole picture, there's going to be something missing. So it's really important to look at all the parts. Also, keep in mind the players who are putting the puzzle together. The more help you have and the more engagement you have, the easier the puzzle goes together. Some tips or hints that we wish we would have known are to rely more on the website. Um, it was something that we didn't use early on, but learned to rely on more heavily as the project progressed. And I think that one of the other things we learned was ask our colleagues. There's people who were also going through the same process while we were in the grant process and they were kind of trudging the same road we were and working on the same issues so we could compare and contrast and learn from each other. 